Welcome to That's Pretty Neat with Roger and Stefan, where we discuss neat, holistic, regenerative agriculture. Uh, Roger, why are we digging up a bunch of holes and putting the dirt in plastic bags? Stefan, um, there's a worldwide real fear of climate change. And young people all over the world are terrified for their futures. So Elon Musk, uh, who is one of the wealthiest people on the planet, Never heard of. offered a hundred million dollar prize money wow. for the team that within four years could show a methodology of sequestering atmospheric carbon back in to the biological, back into the ground, getting it out of the atmosphere. So I have entered a team and uh, um, you guys are part of the team. Uh, and the team is called Deserts to Grasslands Feeding the Future. D2GFTF.com. I like that. And the reason that I did it was over the last 30 years, wherever I've worked in the world, I used a method that I called biological carpeting. Mm -hmm. And what I found was that when we biologically carpeted the soil and protected the microorganisms in the top millimeter from the harmful effects of ultraviolet light, then the life in the soil was start, able to start multiplying and then the fungal uh, networks would get going. And so very soon we would go from sand to dark soil to black, full of life. And so um, what we've got here is we've taken uh, some soil samples. If you look over here, we've got a soil sample that's very sandy looking. Yeah. Um, and um, um, you can see there's not much color in it or much life. Hmm. And that's what we'd call an infertile soil. All right. And then um, we've got another patch that just had the dung on it. Yeah. And it's already looking much darker. That looks a lot darker. It feels wetter too. Correct. And so you had rain here yesterday morning. Yeah. The bare soil, the water evaporated immediately. Mm -hmm. So those the, the life that needed water it's gone because it's back in the atmosphere. But the life that needed water under an inch of dung is still able to get water because the that layer of dung, not only does it prevent ultraviolet light killing the microorganisms, but it also acts like a shower cap after you've been in the shower and it prevents the water from evaporating and leaving your head. Hmm. So if you showered and put a shower cap on, your hair would still be wet at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, that's what this this is doing. And then the final sample we took um, is an even blacker soil. Wow. It's even wetter too. And even wetter. And that had a growing living plant in it. And that growing living plant is pumping. Uh, and you can see the white mycelium yep. networks. So here we can see the fungi networks are good. The insect networks are good. You can see bugs crawling around in here. <laughs> so, so now we've got life and soil is a living, breathing organism. And we have got to realize that soil is a living, breathing organism. And we need to learn how to heal it on two thirds of the planet. So deserts to grasslands is for that job. And then the long term thing is we can feed the future because as we get another billion humans on the planet, we need to be able to feed people. Hmm. And so we start by using the livestock to biologically carpet the land. And then the microorganisms start growing a healthy, fertile soil. Once the soil is healthy and fertile, then vegetation can start growing on it again. And once vegetation has started growing on it, and we are now have green plants photosynthesizing, mm -hmm. that is the most efficient carbon sequestration method in the world. But what I'm doing with the Desert to Grasslands program is I'm not doing it in lovely, lush agricultural areas. We have chosen the harshest spot we can find in America, which is on the shores of the Salton Sea 
in California, in Southern California, which only has a two to three inch rainfall. Hmm. So we're hoping that we can demonstrate on a 6,000 acre model that we can turn bare desert soil back into grassland. And for the beginning bit of the, um, of the X prize, we are doing this experiment to show the judges that our technology is worth considering. Pretty neat. It's pretty neat. <laughs> uh, you can follow Roger at d2gftf.com and also on his socials at Roger Savory Holistic Management on YouTube and Facebook. We are Las Cumbres Ranch. You can follow us on social media at Las Cumbres Ranch over all platforms. And thanks for tuning in. It's been real neat.